Hello, this is Johnny Hunt, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Chord Melody Uke video series here on YouTube. And what we do in this series is learn how to play familiar songs on the ukulele chord melody style. And what does that mean? It means that you're the whole band all by yourself. You play the melody up on the treble strings and fill in with chords behind on the bass strings, and it's a really nice self-contained way to play some of these songs. Uh, it works really well with the uh, strum and sing, so if you're uh, more of a vocalist than a musician, uh, that's fine. This will be a little more of a challenge perhaps, but uh, you can have a lot of fun. You can go at your own pace. You can uh, go backward and forward on the video. You know, if, you, if you get stuck, uh, go over it as many times as you need to. So today we're going to uh, learn how to play It's Only a Paper Moon. And I'm going to go ahead and play through it, and then we'll go slowly, and I'll show you what I'm doing, and you can learn how to play it just uh, just the way I have. Um, Paper Moon is what we call an A-A-B-A structured song. Uh, the first two passes are the verse, which is the same, and then there's a, a interlude, the B part, and then goes back to the A part. So I'll go ahead and play through it now, and then we'll uh, go slowly and uh, go from there. Paper Moon. Captions on and explain what the fingerings are, and I'll tell you what the, the melody notes are, and uh, as best I can, what I'm doing behind it. So we're in the key of F. First chord is 2013, use the pinky because the melody is here at the third fret of the fourth string. And then we go to a diminished shape, which you should be familiar with. It's um, a good connector chord. 2-3-2-3, two, three, two, three. if you never made a diminished chord, make a G chord. And in this case, uh, move your three fingers up toward your head, one string. So instead of the three treble strings, around the three bass strings. And take your pinky, drop that in on the fourth string. So you have 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. And when you're doing it up to speed, you're just going to want to think of your pinky as a pivot point. So you got your F chord. You're going to leave your pinky there. And that's your diminished shape. And the next uh, chord is a G minor. 0, 2, 3, 1. Melody, 4th string, 1st fret. 4th string open. Then to C7, 3, 0, 3, X. Back to G minor, melody on the fourth string, two, three, one. And then we're going to use our pointer as the pivot point and go to C seventh, zero, 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 one. And then we go to our F. Two, zero, one, zero. Melody, fourth string open, third string at the third fret, third string at the first fret. And then we're going to Go back to our 2013 form of the F chord. And if you're able, uh, the, the, the F7 chord works well because that points the ear toward the IV chord. And when we're in the key of F, you'll know from your music theory that uh, the IV chord in the key of F is B flat. Anytime you have a dominant 7th chord, it's always a pretty good guess that the uh, subsequent chord is going to be three full steps above, and that's the case here. So, so here's the B flat that we're going to use. 7 or 0. Actually, if you're not going to fret this, uh, this bass string, 
it's an X, don't play it. So the, uh, the guts of the chord is uh, five, six, five on the treble string. So X, five, six, five. And the melody, fourth string at the fifth fret, third string at the sixth fret. And then it, it's implied that we're still on our B flat chord, but we're going to just play single melody notes. So it's sixth fret of the third string, third fret of the third string, first fret of the third string, and then we go. This is just a C or a C seventh. If we put our, if we play it this way. And I suggest uh, use your pointer finger because our next note is at the fifth fret of the fourth string and the fourth string at the third third string open and that takes us back to F two zero one zero and that's the verse so then we're just going to repeat that whole thing F diminished chord to be F sharp diminished because we're connecting F to a G minor. That's the, the two chords on the end of the diminished. So it's F, F sharp diminished, two, three, two, three, melody on the top, G minor, zero, two, three, one, fourth string, first fret open, C7, three, zero, three, melody on the third string, back to G minor. Now again our pointers to the pivot, C7, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then back to F, 4 at the open, 3rd at the 3rd, 3rd at the 1st, and then a connector, 2nd string open, hammered on the 2nd, and then uh, our, our F chord. We need to get our pinky up to the third fret of the fourth string. Okay, and then we're going to that would be the B flat. Five six five X five six five. Fourth string at the fifth, third at the sixth, third at the third, third at the first, and then to the C seven three zero zero. Fourth string. And that's our second time through the verse. So we go on to the, the B part, which is uh, over a G minor. So it's 0, 2, 3, X actually, but I'm fretting it, even though we're not using it. And then another diminished shape, which is 4, 5, 4. Because the melody is just walking. And we're going to catch it by going back to the F chord. So it's the melody is third at the third, third at the fourth, and then instead of, instead of doing it uh, here, we're going to just make our F chord. It's easier. Two, zero, one, and uh, we move the melody up to the fourth string open. Third fret of the fourth, open, and then we're back to our G minor, except we're adding a eleventh on the top, so it's zero, two, three, three, but we're we're fingering we're thinking G minor when we grab the chord and then our pinky just if we drop it down, that's where it's gonna end up. So fourth at the third over this uh, G minor shape. Then that takes us right to C7, 303. And then, or we could just do 3000. Zero, zero, zero. But that next uh, note is, is the um, flatted third. So that's the fourth fret of the third string. And then that takes us right to F. And back to G minor. Two three zero two three one diminished. So there's our all on the third string, third fret, diminished fourth fret of the 
third string, then we go with the melody up to the top, open on the F chord, and then we can do the diminish. And that makes a D7, 2, 2, 2, 1. And then back to G minor. Fourth with the first open, and then C7. And that's our B part. So then once more through the A part, and that's going to take us home. content. Make it yours and that'll make you happy. So that's It's Only a Paper Moon. Good luck with it. Uh, if you need any additional individual help, please send me an email, johnnyhunt at, no I'm sorry, that's my name, chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com and I'll check that box just about every day and get back to you as quickly as I can. So um, Thanks for watching the Chord Melody Uke channel. If you have any uke playing friends that are looking for some new challenges, uh, turn them on to this channel. I appreciate uh, referrals there. So um, have a good time with it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.